Well, hi. How are you? Good to see you again. New knife day. Yay me. Monday. New knife day. Got a, uh, another Wii. Yes, we We make some pretty spiffy shit. So, without any further ado, this one came from Blade HQ. Let's take a look. Oh, you made it. Cool beans. Anyway, Blade HQ. And with this purchase, they even sent me a mat. Yes. Isn't that neat? Well done. Free. Yeah, buddy. It was free. Yay. It's a wee mat. There goes my notes. It's cool outside. Boy, is it warm inside. Yeah. There's the mail call. Oops. I forgot my comparison knives. I'll be right back in the flash. Alrighty, I'm back in the flash. Anyway, the Wii. And again, as usual, I found this on the Reddit knife group. And it was blue. I'm a sucker for blue, but it's got to be the right kind of blue. Yes, let's move this. Too much of dark. This here, I pulled out of the car. It's a sunshade. Works well. Okay. I've already looked at this. Couldn't wait at the post office. Yes. I got a, uh, it's not a sticker. It's a thingy. I got a wee knife sticker. I got a cleaning cloth. You know, stupid me. I don't know why. <laughs> I come out here to, you know, bring this, this thingy. And sitting over here, which you can't see, I had a uh, damn Medford knife. <sighs> you know, you hang around some long enough, you forget what the hell you, you got going on. I'll leave that out because I'm going to put this in here. Just look at his split. I'm going to look at his split motherfucker today. Yes. So here it is. This is the Riff Raff. As usual, it comes in a nice pouch. Yeah. You could put two knives in here, I reckon. So yeah, at the Reddit group, I fell in love with this. I was like, wow, this is cool. One thing at a time. Let's put this back in there. One thing at a time. I think that's a song, but don't quote me on that. This is $259 at Blade HQ. And I'll tell you, I got a metallic aluminum like blue screw. I got blue accents. I got blue here, but this is two tone blue. I got a, a, a blue thumb stud. The Wii emblem, more blue screws, a nice, you know, like, I don't know, it's in between a dinosaur and a, you know, the back of a dinosaur's head and something I'm not sure, but that, that's pretty neat. It's, it's sculpted, it's like little, little scallops coming out. There's, there's five of them. On the back spaker, baker, back spacer. Say that five times. Yeah, this is a frame lock, which I like, and I like that it's both sides. Both sides is titanium. It's not, you know, G10 on one and titanium on the other, and it has these nice little little lines, which you know could help with the grip, but it's it's pretty nice pretty pretty yeah <sighs> got a beautiful sculpted clip two screws it can only go on one side 
You may be able to put it on this side, but only use one screw. I don't know. I'm not going to do it because I'm not left-handed. You could do it if you're left-handed. But anyway, so you got, yeah, centering is perfect. Perfect. I cannot say that enough. It is perfect. Your thumb stud is on both sides. You can do either side. Now, overall, I'll tell you that in a minute. But this thing is weighing in at 3.41 ounces. Blade length is 3.12. The handle is 4.16. Now, I don't have the largest hands in the world, nor the smallest. I could have be a midget, though. But this grip is right on. Now, overall, we're looking at 7.78. Now, check this out. It's got a nice little, little sound to it. Yes. And beautiful blade. Beautiful finish. It's a flat grind. <sighs> and like I said, the blade length is 3.12 inches. It's a CPM 20 CV with a 59 to 61 hardness. Clip point, flat grind, I said that. It has it's running on pivot bearings. It's beautiful. It's a clip point. I don't know if I said that or not. But it's beautiful. And it's got nice jimping right here. I like jimping. I don't like too much jimping. I want my jimping where my jimping's supposed to be. And if it's not where it's supposed to be, then it's useless jimping. But yes, that's the only place it is. It's not right here. It's not there. It's on top. Where you could get And it has a nice, beautiful thumb, thumb ramp. Thumb ramp. Yes, yes, Roy. It has a nice little thumb ramp. It doesn't sound like Roy. It sounds like Jimmy Stewart. A lot of you people don't know who Jimmy Stewart is. But you know the Duke. And the Duke says it has a nice little thumb ramp. Uh-huh. Right, Brian? But look at that. I mean, they, they did good. It's got aluminum. Your aluminum, you know, screws. And it's just it's, it's beautiful. And it's blue. Just the right amount of blue. Blue titanium. The designer is Matthew Christensen. And it's a riffraff. That's what it's called. It's a riffraff. Look at those peanuts. And this flat grind, I'm going to get my fingers out of the way, but this flat grind, it comes sharp. Yeah, buddy. Squished it a little bit, but I got it. Uh, I was putting all this stuff up and I was like, I almost forgot. The paper cutting. Yes. Nice. Very nice. No, so anywho, back of the ranch, enough peanuts. Nifty mat. Yes, nifty mat. I got a nifty mat. Do you have a nifty mat? Let's look at some comparisons. My Wii collections. I think I got all my Wiis. I had to look, you know, this, this, this uh, little, these little pigs, they were at the restaurant. And the one little pig, he was like, they ordered food. And one little pig said, I'll have, uh, I'll have some iced tea and I'll have an appetizer of some french fries. 
got a little pig. He says, that sounds good. And he orders the same thing. And they, they go through the order and they get to the last little pig. And he says, and the waiter says, what do you want? He says, I want water. I says, okay. So they order their meals. They order steaks and hamburgers and everything else. And the last little pig, he says, I want water. Uh, the waiter's a little confused, and he says, well, at the end, you know, when they order dessert, and the little uh, little pig says, last one, he says, I want water. And he says, I need to ask, why is it you, you're not ordering any food, you're just ordering water? The last little pig says, well, I'm the one that has to go wee, wee, wee all the way home. <laughs> I know. But that just came to mind. But my wees, this is the wee arrakis. I was like, and I can't remember which one I got first. And I can't remember what this one is. But it's got a harpoon shape to it. It's a wee. A nice wee. Yes. And this Arrakis. Very futuristic. I need to clean it off. That's what's good about doing videos. You get to see your knives. Oh, I'm speaking of that, I, I left the Medford out here and I don't remember if I finished that story and I don't know why I left it out here. The thug. The wee thug. Worth it. I think Savivi's making one too, a little bit a little bit cheaper. Here's the Papa Thug. Yes. Papa Thug. And what else do I have for comparison? Oh. And I bought this just for videos. But it's a nice knife. This is the uh, uh, Delica. And since a lot of you guys own a Delica, you can see, you know, just how, you know, how it looks. And the size. And let's get this off here again. Because the other knives on the picture, very nice picture. But you can see how the size and everything to it. Nice blade. Beautiful. What else do I have in here and why? This is the uh, Sin Cut. Nice knife. Can't remember which one it is, but it's a Sin Cut. Thumb stud and flicker. Flipper. They call him Flipper. Flipper. Faster than lightning, no one you see is smarter than he, and we know Flipper, Flipper, lives in a world full of wonder, I have to go now, I'm terribly busy, thanks for joining me, it's always a fucking pleasure, we'll see you.